Brother Dayahau, Brother Dayahau Shah, Brother Dayahau, Brother Dayahau Shah. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Kabadash. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shah being the name of His only begotten Son, who the Heavenly called Jesus Christ. Now, we're going to go into this seduced by the wicked and look at how these is what the two thirds uh, look like in these last days. Um, because Esau, Edom, who is Satan the devil, the deceiver and the antichrist, the man of sin, the son of destruction. See, he is the one that's seducing them with all kind of uh, traps and all kind of tricks up his sleeve because he's a cunning hunter. And I'm talking about Esau as a nation, the nation of Edom, which is all the descendants uh, of Esau and their kingdom that's, in, uh, that's ruling right now, uh, the ancient so-called Romans and Greeks, who is the so-called white man. Now let's go into, let's see here, Proverbs, or oh, let's see. I had them all queued up. Uh, seduce. Let's go on that seduce. Okay, let's see here. Proverbs 12 and 26. It says, The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduced them. See, because the Israelites. Um, the children of Jacob, they uh, only become wicked when they're seduced by these dragons, see, because they're uh, made to be the righteous. See, they was created out of Jacob, who was made to be the righteous um, out of Jacob and Esau. Let's see here. Look at Ezekiel 13 and 10. It says, because even, because they have seduced my people, saying peace, and there was no peace. You see, they, in 1865, when they let them off the plantation, it says, peace now. See, now it's peace. But there was no peace. There was no freedom. See, they just kicked them um, out of the yard and they roam aimlessly with no no way to uh, pretty much support themselves and it's like a, a, a dog, a house dog you're feeding the dog in the house or whatever and then you kick him, kick him into the backyard and say he's free he can roam around the backyard now because uh, he not locked up in the house. But this dog is in the backyard with, with a fence. And ain't too many animals. And uh, whatever his food is, ain't too much of that in the backyard. It's a bunch of dirt. And this is how they, they um, seduce the two-thirds. Talking about this freedom mess. Look at Mark 13, 22. It says, For false Christ and false prophets shall arise and shall show signs and wonders to seduce even, no, to seduce if it were even the elect. So the, the, the signs and wonders that these dragons show with uh, Martin Luther the King talking about, um, you know, this this march on Washington, you know, uh, we got civil rights and all this kind of mess. And, and people uh, can't discriminate against us. See, making all these discrimination laws or uh, what you um, got the laws on the job 
where you say um, affirmative action, where they got to put a black person on the job. You just can't have all so-called Edomites. And so this is how they seduce the Israelites. Then you see they, they got a um, boule, a bourgeoisie class of Negroes that they let have a little money and throw their money around and say, well, you can do what they doing. You ain't got to be broke when uh, they probably 1% and the other 40 million Negroes is starving out. Or they living paycheck to paycheck, working minimum wage, uh, sun up to sundown on these jobs, can't get ahead. Uh, stuck in a um, rat race. Okay. In Second Timothy three thirteen, they say, "But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived." Now that's how they get a lot of them with that Christian church and these black so-called black pastors that sitting around telling them a bunch of lies, pushing a um, slave doctrine on them. You see. Verse John 2.16, it says, These things have I written unto you concerning them that can seduce you. You see, these, these um, churches, these Christian churches, these Muslim mobs who are sitting around seducing the children of Israel. Um, Revelation 2 and, 2 and 20, um, notwithstanding, I have a few things against you because you suffered the woman Jezebel, which caused herself a prophetess to teach and seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things uh, sacrificed unto idols. And that's pretty much them rejecting the laws of God and putting these women um, up. You got women pastors and all this kind of mess. But that bring me, bring to mind, um, they say evil men waxing worse and worse, seducing my people. Jeremiah 5 and 26. They say, for my people, for among my people are found wicked men. See, that's them black pastors. They lie wait as he that set truth trap or snares they set a trap they catch men as a cage is full of birds so are their houses full of deceit therefore they are become great and waxing rich see you got the mega churches but these people buying million dollar planes and uh, sitting on millions of dollars pushing that slave doctrine that came from the, the Edomites, the ones that's uh, trying to seduce the Lord's people. Now let's get uh, some more about these cricket pastors. Uh, let's see here. 9 and 16. It says, For your leader, for the leaders of this people cause them to error and they that are led of them are destroyed. See, those are the leaders of uh, them so-called pastors. Them the ones who um, is leading and seducing the Lord's people. Uh, verse 10 of Isaiah 56, it says, His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark. See, a dog is supposed to bark and warn people. That's what a watchman do. And that goes along too, even with some of these Israelite camps. See, they're supposed to be barking, telling them that this man is about to come down with all wrath, bringing his seat here, grain of rice, M-O to the T to the B. See, his yoke. He's going to put a yoke on the people of spiritual awe on the people and try to enslave them in a more um, harsh yoke or more harsh slavery. 
when he dictating their every move. And those who fall victim to that trap, let's go ahead and get their destiny. Um, but I'm going to finish out the verse. It says, sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. See, they not warning the people. Verse 11, yeah, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way, everyone for his gain from his quarter. See, they were pushing that poison, and they got all these so-called pastors to push it and tell their people that uh, it wasn't nothing wrong with it. Now, the people, a lot of people was thinking that it could possibly be the M.O. to the B. M.O. to the T to the B. But it wasn't. See, it was just a prelude a um, preview of the um, that Karagma. But you had these pastors out here being paid agents of this seducer, this red dragon. And they went out there and promoted his poison. Um, okay, so let's see here. Get this Genesis. The seducing situation. Mm -hmm. Oh, second, there's a sixteen. That's what I want. It says, 68, for behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you, being idle with things offered unto idols. So when they try these so-called jobs, they're going to try to bring some universal uh, income and, and pay people to stay at their crib pretty much. But the way they're going to have to get the money is by getting that uh, CBC, CBDC, Central Bank Digital Currency, and they're going to uh, put it in the form of some freaking device that you got to put in somebody's body. And it really don't matter where they put it at, but the convenient place is in the hand. And so... Verse 69 says, And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden under the foot. See, they're going to try to seduce them while they drying up these jobs and building robots or however they try to drive the jobs and the people be idle. See, because idle means you ain't working. While you ain't working, making no income, they gonna seduce you and say we got everything under control. You can own nothing and be happy. See, you gonna be happy even though you don't own anything, and we giving you money, and you depending on us. See, the old that consent to that that trick that they gonna have for them, they gonna be trotting under the foot. But see, the elect is not gonna consent. But look at what it's saying, verse 7. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. So those that fear the Lord, they're they not going to consent, and then the beast is going to attack. See these red dragons? They're going to attack. And look at what it said, verse 71. They shall be like mad men, sparing none but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known. So then, when they, they bring that karama, these individuals don't understand then. Let's get that Ezekiel 33, 33. It says, and when this come to pass 
Lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. See, then they're going to know the people that was warning them. They was being used by the Lord. See, the Lord was using them to give a warning. Let's get that Luke. Oh, it is the 69. 1 and 69. Uh, no, 1 and 70. It says, And as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophet, which have been since the world began. So the Lord speaking by the by the prophets. That's how he's speaking to the people. Let's get 2nd verse 15. Behold, speak you in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in your mouth, says the Lord. So he's putting the words in the prophet's mouth to warn these people that these devils is coming with great wrath. And if you uh, consent to them, consent to the trick, the way they're going to try to deceive you, you're going to be had in derision. They're coming with deception. It says, um, where is it? Verse 10 of Revelation 2, it says, Fear none of the things which you shall suffer. Behold, the devil shall come, shall cast some of you into prison, that you may be tried. So when that great insurrection come, they're going to be throwing people into prison, casting them out of their house, taking their goods. And ye shall have tribulation ten days. Here go the point. Be you faithful unto death, and I will give you a crown of life. See, once that great insurrection happened, and, and you, the, the, the elect, reject his uh, seduction. See, because that's what the, the scripture said, and um, it wasn't in Mark. It says, for false Christ and false prophets shall rise. So they're going to be saying that God is with them. They're anointed. And shall show great, show signs and wonders to seduce, if it was possible, even the elect. See, they're not going to seduce the elect with their charisma. See, with their seek help. They're not going to seduce them with their wicked devices. See, they're going to uh, look at the pastor and say, this wicked drag, this wicked Negro trying to get us to go with the dragon. He's trying to seduce us to go here and deceive us to go in here and, and, and trust our enemy like the so-called General Yohanna. He's going to say, God don't care nothing about no seek here. See, and you can go ahead and take it. And he told the people to take the poison too. He seduced peoples. See, with that seduction, many people could have dropped dead by listening to this man. Because he telling you to trust your enemy. We know he the devil, he said. But trust him anyway and, and let him put poison in you. And let him put some kind of uh, cyborg device in you so he can control you. Maybe even put you to death with a with a tap of a button. See, you you can't put your life in his hand. This is the these wicked false prophets and wicked men of our nation trying to seduce us, right along with the so-called white man Esau Edom. See, the, the, especially their governments is the main thing that's doing the seduction because the, you know. The average Jew don't got no power, or the average Edomite don't got no power. It's the collective government. That's what Ephesians, let's get that. I'll close out on Ephesians. This is going to show where all the seduction is coming from. There ain't no confusion. Ephesians 6 and 12, it says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, so it ain't a couple of men or one man. It says, but against principality. See, that, that word goes into government, a king, against powers. See, that goes against the government. That's uh, Romans 13 and 1. 
against the rulers of the darkness of this world. See, the rulers of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places. See, those high ones in the earth. Like, uh, let me get that. Six, I think. It said, verse 21, and it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high and the kings of the earth upon the earth. See, the high ones is the ones in the government, these leaders with the economic forum and all these rich, rich great men of the earth, like Revelation 18 say. Let's get that real quick. I'm going to let the word speak. 18, 23. Who's going to be doing the deceiving and seducing? The, the last sentence of 23, it says, For the merchants were the great men of the earth, for they that, for by their sorceries, were all nations deceived or seduced. See, they're going to be seducing th these other nations in Jake. Meaning the Israelites, the blacks, the Spanish, the Native Americans, the sinners, the slaves. They're going to be seducing them. But I'm going to leave it there. All praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Double honors to the elders pushing the truth. Peace to the elect worldwide. Our kingdom is at hand. Shalom.